Hey guys, still working on this 2005 Subaru Outback XT. Uh, it supplies any of those 2.5 uh, liter turbocharged engines. If you're digging as deep as I am into replacing the cam oil seals on this side, we can see I just replaced those two. So I have both those off. So how do I get the uh, cams, the cam sprockets off. Uh, you can follow the Haynes manual, which tells you to buy one of these. Spanner wrench, which I assume Subaru has a special one. It is meant to go into the two dimples adjacent to the three bolts that hold on the oil plate cover. Doesn't work at all. So, I found another YouTube video and I thought I would share this. Instead, this is going to cost you a belt if you didn't plan on replacing a belt. Um, take a timing belt for this engine. On the passenger side, you can do it one cam at a time. On the, or sorry, on the driver's side, you can do it one cam at a time. On the passenger side, there's not enough clearance between the two cams to get the belt in there. So you got to do them wrapped at the same time. Wrap the belt around both the cams. You can see them just wrapped like I was doing timing. And then pull it tight up around the first idler pulley and then around the second idler pulley and try your best to get these teeth to interlock. Wrap it one half on the top and one half on the bottom of the crank sprocket. Vice grips, uh, I suggest bigger ones. Clamp that as hard as you can after you pull as much slack as possible. And then down here, another vice grip. Again, it's just a big one. Clamp this as close to this cams as you can. Um, that is what worked really well. If we want to take a nice leisurely jaunt over to the torque specifications for the, where are we looking? For the cam sprocket. Uh, clearance. <sighs> Camshaft sprocket bolts. Non turbocharged engines, 58. Turbocharged models, intake, two steps, 22 foot-pounds, and then tighten an additional 45 degrees. Exhaust sprocket bolt, 2004 models, 72, 2005 and later models, 22, tighten additional 45 degrees. Reference, this is the Haynes Pier Manual for the Legacy Forester, uh, Legacy Outback and Baja, 2000 through 2009, Forester, 2000 through 2008. There are your torque specs. If you want me to list them again, there you go. Take a screen freeze here, and uh, there's your Newton meters as well. Bam. Have fun with that, guys. It's a lot of fun. I had some leaking cam seals, and now I won't. Joy, oh joy. I will say these guys are really tight. The uh, hex to take off the cams is a... Number 10. Number 10 Allen key, I suggest, well, if you don't have it half inch, a lot of this stuff comes in 3 eighths, get a half to, or a 3 eighths to half adapter, use a 24 inch breaker bar. The 18 suck, and it will be a lot more effort. Or use an 18 and an extension of some kind, like a handle to a jack. And that is that. She's a short one, but she's sweet. That's how you get your cams off. So much fun, so much joy. Do your best not to rotate the cams while everything's untimed. Oh, what about RS timing? Yeah, watch my other videos.